G'day subscribers, um, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I thought I'd just start doing some um, instructional type videos now. Um, and uh, the first one is basically how I do my underwater filming. Um, I have got a downrigger and uh, I lower down a 10 pound ball. And um, yeah, I troll it around and I see what I can find on the bottom. I then have a look at my sonar and basically compare what I think I'm seeing on my sonar in comparison to what's actually down there as far as weed, rock bottom, shale, uh, broken bottom, all those sorts of things. So this is my um, downrigger. Uh, basically I've replaced the wire with a 500 pound braid and I've got a heavy duty snap swivel on it with a nice knot. Um, I didn't like the wire because it went rusty even though I kept on washing it. Um, it went rusty and it was noisy. It makes a, a rather loud humming noise. Um, so I swapped to the braid. Um, the braid's good. I guess the only problem I have with the braid now is I've got a counter on it. Um, the counter is not accurate anymore which is a bit of a shame um, so what I do now is I I watch my sonar and I can actually see the the weight coming down to the bottom and uh, when it gets to about a meter off the bottom I'll stop it and you just use the brake you turn the handle and it's a brake okay so yeah so here's my 10 pound weight uh, what I've done is I've obviously mounted a GoPro uh, connection on there. Uh, I've used a heavy duty zip tie with a hole um, and I've also used a bolt that is getting a bit loose now it's got a bit of time on it and I have a, um, a, re a red lens cap. Uh, we have quite, uh, quite green water here and um, when it comes up on the computer and make a movie it's quite green. Um, this red takes away that and it ends up being a lot bluer and a lot a lot more appealing to look at basically okay so what I've got is I've bought myself a uh, an adapter okay. um, and basically what it is it's a little aerial okay with a connector at the end so what I do is I've got um, a length of coaxial cable and I cut this with a razor blade and I cut it to about I don't know three eighths of an inch, ten mil off the end. Okay. Pull off the outer casing and basically expose that internal copper wire. I hope you can see that. Okay. So that goes into the end like that. Fits nice and slow. Now, unfortunately, the um, the heat shrink that I've got here on, on the boat isn't going to be big enough. So I'm just going to use this for the sake of the video. But basically, I'm going to put some tape around it to hold it there. And you know, what I intend on doing is putting some epoxy on there and then heat shrink once that's dry. The heat shrink's going to help. Um, seal it from the salt water. So I always use scissors when cutting the grey tape um, because then you get a lot better film. Okay so that's that end done. What I also do is I expose a bit of the phone, a bit of the um, wire and I put it on my phone. Okay so I've sticky taped it to the back of my phone and you can see a 
possibly a little bit of wire sticking out there, it doesn't matter. That's basically wire. And as you can see, we are Bluetoothed already, but anyway, a Wi-Fi connection so I can see what you guys are watching. Now, uh, with this little unit from a um, little induction plug, um, it comes a little sticky and you can see that it's a little bit of velcro okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put that on there whoops put it on there like so okay and that sort of sticks there um, then I put the camera inside it and once I put the camera inside it whoops I'm going to put some tape around it, okay? So you guys won't be able to see that because I've only got one camera. see what happened on the phone but um, it worked I took a screenshot and um, that's in the video so uh, thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and uh, tight lines <laughs>